Hello everybody, my name is Storm5638 and welcome to part 2 of the Game Maker series. Today we're going to be solving when the player uh, goes outside the room, we're actually going to make it stop. Um, so when it reaches kind of to the edge of the screen, we're, kind of, we're going to make it stop until it moves away. So we can do that by making an invisible wall, but you can do it other ways. I just like doing it like this. So in our sprites folder, um, we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to name this SVR underscore wall. And then we're going to click on edit sprite. Click on this little piece of paper right here. And we're going to still keep it width and height 32 by 32. And then we're just going to paint it white. That, that's it. There's no special design, there's no nothing you need to do with it as it's going to be invisible. Uh, I paint it because, uh, you know, just for a placeholder so that we can actually see it on the room when we do our level design. And then we're gonna center it like this, press OK. Then we're gonna create an object for it. So we're gonna say obj underscore wall. We're gonna assign the SPR underscore wall as its sprite. And then this is very important right here where it says visible, you wanna uncheck it so it'll be invisible so it'll be an invisible wall but we also want to make it solid so that when the player collides with it it's it's a solid object so so it'll really collide with it um, then we can add an event we can collide with the player so when the wall collides with the player we're going to execute another code action and we're going to say speed equals zero so what it's going to do is that when the player collides with the wall it's going to set its speed to zero until we move away from it and then we're going to go into our room. Actually, no, we're not going to create a room. We're going to go into our room level. Um, I kind of moved it just so I can test with some with some things. But we're going to go into our objects. We're going to select wall. Now you only need to put two of these down since we're only moving horizontally. Okay. So what we're going to do is that we're going to place one right there. And then we're going to place one right there and move it over here. Okay. So it should look remotely like this. Um, it needs to be right where the player is, like on the x-axis of the player, or else it won't work properly, because if it's right here, the player won't stop. I mean, maybe it will, because the tip might be touching it. Maybe. We don't know for certain, but we know that it might not work. So we're gonna just gonna put it right next to the player. Then we're gonna check mark this, and then we're gonna compile it. And then if it works, we'll move on to making bullets for the player to shoot at the enemies. So let's see if it works. We're going to compile it. And then we're going to move. And if it stops, which it does, and let's see on the left side, and if it does work on both sides, then we can move on to the bullet of the player to shoot our enemies with. And as you can see, it works as well. So let's exit out of this, exit the compile window, and then we're going to create a brand new sprite. We're going to name this SPR underscore bullet, which will be the sprite of our bullet. We're going to edit it and then make it, instead of 32 by 32 pixels, since the bullet's kind of small, we're going to make it 6 by 6. So it's really little. So we're going to click on it. We're going to go to our straight line tool. No need to fill it in because it's going to look really chunky. And then we're just going to make two lines like that. And you can center it if you want to. I just prefer to do it, but you don't really have to. And then we'll make an object for this bullet. We'll assign its sprite. We're going to add an event. So when it's created, we're going to set a variable with our code, which is going to be bullet speed equals 5. Actually, I misspelled the bullet right there. I should have had that E in there. So bullet speed equals 5. And then we're going to go to this move tab. And this is one of those lazy kind of things that you can do with Game Maker. You can go under this move tab, and then on this it should say move fix. So it's going to move in a fixed uh, way. And it's going to apply to cell, so the bullet is going to move in the up direction at the speed of bullet speed. So when it's created, it's going to declare the variable bullet speed, which is equal to 5, and it's going to move in a fixed direction upwards at the speed of 5 or bullet speed. Okay, now we're going to go into our player object. Uh, I already had this down. 
because I was testing it earlier, if you press the space key, you know what, I'll delete it and I'll walk through it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event. We're going to do a keyboard press right here. And then we can do space. And then we can go and execute our code. And we're going to say instance underscore create xy. So it's going to be the x corner and the y corner of the player, which should be in the center. But we're going to change that later. And then we're going to say obj underscore bullet. Or what you could do is that in the step event, you could say if keyboard underscore check underscore press, um, I think it would be vk underscore space. And then you would say something like instance underscore create x and y obj underscore bullet which you could do but i'm not going to do that so if you run our game yet again what we sh what it what we should see is that if we press the space bar um it's going to create a bullet and it's going to launch upwards so we're going to wait for it to compile and then it pops up we can still move left and right and then as we can see, we see our bullets colliding, or not colliding, but moving. I'm sorry. So you can see it moving upwards in a direction of bullet speed. But if we move left and right, we can actually see where it really comes from, which is the origin. So we're going to change that. Uh, we're going to go into our uh, sprite player. And under here on the origin, we're not going to change the X uh, coordinate of the origin. We don't want that. We want to change the Y. Uh, coordinate of the origin. We're going to say zero. So as you see right here, uh, it might be pretty small, but uh, the horizontal line reaches upwards to the very point of the ship, and that's where the bullet will be created. Okay, since we said x and y, it's talking about the x coordinate of the origin, the y coordinate of the origin. Okay, so it's going to be on the very tip of the ship now. So if we run it, now, instead of moving from right here, or creating the bullet from right here, right here, which is the origins right about here, it's going to do it from the tip of the ship. Um, so this has been part two of the Game Maker series. Uh, next video, we will be uh, making enemies. And with those enemies, we're going to say if the bullet collides with the enemies, we're going to do points. We're going to do a lot of things with the enemies. Um, in the next couple of videos. So if you like this video, uh, leave a like. And if you want to see more of this Game Maker series, subscribe. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's basically it. And I'll see you guys later.